small state, big influence. Oh, it is good to be back in Portsmouth. With almost half of New Hampshire's voters registered as independent, the Granite State has become a key target in the upcoming presidential election. New Hampshire, I need you to knock on some doors for me. New Hampshire, I need you to tell your friends and neighbors and co-workers what's at stake in this election. President Obama held a rally in Portsmouth the morning after wrapping up the Democratic National Convention. It marks the fourth time the president has held an event in New Hampshire this year. When I found out that they were coming straight from the convention to New Hampshire, I canceled everything and came down here. Obama won New Hampshire during the 2008 election. Today, the state's unemployment rate is significantly lower than the national average, which could give the president an edge over Republican nominee Mitt Romney. Professor Douglas Kreiner, an expert in American presidential politics at Boston University, said in an interview, New Hampshire could be pivotal in playing a situation where Obama could still win the presidency even if he lost Ohio and the southern swing states as well. New Hampshire is a key to the re-election of the president and the vice president. And we will again show this nation that New Hampshire knows how to pick presidents of the United States. Four electoral votes may not seem like much, but don't underestimate them. New Hampshire has voted for the winner eight out of the past ten elections, and the state's high number of independent voters makes it one of the most sought-after swing states. In Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Victoria Price, BUTV10.